Okay, here are three more practice problems. These are hard, so just take your time and go back and review this. Um, you won't find this particular um, set of problems in the book. So let's just, uh, we'll just take it slowly, and you just have a, two practice problems um, similar to this for homework. So find the 15th term for 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4. So remembering that your first term is 5. Your second term is 2. Your third term is negative 1. And your fourth term is negative 4. Now these are always going to be your y's. The 1, 2, 3, 4 for your x's simply mean first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So now let's take a look at what's happening from 5 to 2 going down by 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 and negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So remembering we now have y equals negative 3x. And where does that negative 3 come from? Right here. So we're going to negative 3x, and we are going to have to add something. We don't know what yet, but we got to add something to go from here to here. So we have a y value of 5. So 5 equals negative 3. The corresponding x value to that y is 1. And we're going to add something to it. We don't know yet. So we have 5 equals negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And that's the question mark. And this is a negative 3, so we are going to add 3 to both sides. And it looks like we have 8 equals that question mark. So right up here, I'm going to predict that my equation is y equals negative 3x plus 8. Well, let's see. If x is 2, y equals, I'm just going to do it out here, negative 3 times 2. We're going to say if we add 8, we should get 2 for an answer. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus 8, and that gets us as y equals 2, which it does. Let's just try it for the 3 and see how that works. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and negative 9 plus 8 will give you that negative 1. So if we have to now find the 15th term, so now we have y equals negative 3 times 15 because that's the x is the, the term, adding it to 8. We have y equals negative 45 plus 8, which then gets you an answer of y equals negative 37. So the 15th term for the pattern 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4 is negative 37. Let's take a look at another example. Give myself some more room. Find the 20th term for negative 2, 1, 4, and 7. First term, negative 2. Second term, 1. Third term, 4. Fourth term, 7. So what's happening from here to here? You know what? I'm going to go from here to here first because it's a lot easier to work with that. 1 to 4 is plus 3, 4 to 7 is plus 3, negative 2 plus 3, yep, that's 1. Okay, so you have y equals 3x. Okay, so it looks like we might be going down. 3x, 3 times 1 will get me 3, but my final y is a negative, so I'm going to be subtracting something. So we have y equals 
I'm going to come up with a negative 2 because that's the y value right here. It's 3 times 1. And we're going to be putting in a number here. Plus or minus a question mark. So negative 3. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And it looks like it's a negative 5. Let's check that. Um, y equals 3 times 1 minus 5, which is 3 minus 5, which gives you that negative 2 value, which is right here. Check it with another one. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 or minus 5 is 1. So this should be 3x minus 5. 3 times 3 is 12, I mean is 9, minus 4 is 5, and then 3 times 4 is 12, minus 5 is 7. So our 20th term, we're going to take 3 times 20, minus 5, which is 60 minus 5, and our 20th term for that sequence will be 55. Let's check this last one. Okay, first term is negative 1, second term is negative 3, third term is negative 5, fourth term is negative 7. So it looks like the pattern here is negative 2. So we have y equals negative 2x plus something. So let's figure this out. We have negative 1 as our y equals negative 2 times 1 plus something. Negative 1 equals negative 2 plus something. Add 2 to both sides. We have 1 equals what we're being added to. So let's try that. Negative 2x plus 1. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Plus 1 is negative 7. So our equation works. So now this 12th term that stands for the x negative 2 times 12 plus 1, negative 24 plus 1, and we get negative 23 is that 12th term. 12 isn't that far, and this is a pretty easy pattern. I'm sure if you extend it out, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and keep going, you'll get y equals negative 23. Your practice for your homework, I'd like you to do page 275, 2689, 16, 18, 20, and 22. Those are just, is this an arithmetic sequence? If so, what are the next three? And then these, I just wanted you to see if you could practice doing these types of problems. So find the 40th term for 3, 6, 9, 12. You'll do them just like we did on this sheet. And find the 25th term for 20, 14, 18, uh, 8, and 2. See how you do, and it looks like I will be seeing you on Monday.